Yeah. You're that person tonight. Just so you know. Very good. Give it up one more time for the fantastic Morgan, 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 everyone. Yes, very good. Hi, Morgan. First of all, I want to say what an honor for you this must be. You're <laughs> Your one fan, Nelly, must be so excited you're here. I have to say I'm very, very proud of my real-life friend, Morgan. We met, we became fast friends, we started working together when I did Queen of the Night, we had our virtual and live positivity show, and now we work at brunch in Queen of the Hill here at Taboo. Thank you, yes. I really love her so much. She has a collection of national trophies, and she was ranked sixth in the country when it comes to all things drag. Give it up for that, very good. <laughs> however, however, with her highly successful run in the pageant system, my friend Morgan has let all that fame go right to her forehead. Yes, Morgan's forehead is so big, she walked past my TV screen and I missed the last three seasons of Lost. I hope it ended well. <laughs> Thank you. What does my friend Morgan have in common with a pair of hang boxer briefs? They too are something cheap you can shove your junk in and get rid of easily when you quickly tire of the stretched out holes. Morgan out of drag looks like every member of the show Full House mashed together. <laughs> And don't you laugh at an out of drag joke, Isis. Out of drag, you look like none of your chromosomes get along. <laughs> Cleo, out of drag, looks like the sole lesbian bouncer at a Jersey Shore bar. <laughs> and Mia... Well, what can I say about Mia? I love her so much and think she's adorable. Mostly because she looks like Sid the Sloth from the movie Ice Age. <laughs> Mia, you look like the type of person like that your feet has all big toes. <laughs> I had to remove big toes. <laughs> <laughs> Must have had a sale. Okay, very good. Speaking of Mia, are you ready for our first roaster of the evening? Now, Mia admitted to me earlier she was quite nervous about tonight's show. I reassured her, look, you may not be the funniest, but you give the best blowjobs around. All right. That's what my husband, hashtag poor Todd, says anyway. Look. And we can trust his word. <laughs> We sure can. She's the queen that lets it all hang out, and by it, I mean her big pendulous breasts. Please give a huge round of applause for the gorgeous, the sensational, Mia the Body Bombshell! Look, I know we all had a long week, some more than others, but Taboo, how y'all doing? I'm over here, Stardust, with the light. Over here, baby. Unlike these old bitches, I actually look good. I over here. Hello, everyone. I thought I was coming here to finally receive my Philly Drag Award, award for Best Assets. But only to find out that yet again I've been casted in another roast for another old ass bitch that has been in the business long past their expiration date. I guess 
me failing to land a joke at the roast of Dominique Lee wasn't enough to never book me again for these tired ass roasts again. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of old ass bitches that have been in the, in the game long past their expiration date, we have the goddess Isis. Yep, that's all. <laughs> There's no jokes to say about this old twisted heap of bones. I mean, look at her. She's one false move from being the ending scene of Death Becomes Her. <laughs> Except she'll just end up a pile of dust. And let's talk about the, those shoes. She's been wearing the same pair since the Great Depression. She's obviously not spending money on her drag anymore because she only has two costumes and trust me, the other one is the better one. <laughs> I thought your drag was supposed to get better with time, not worse. Well, at least you don't have to worry about no one fighting over your things when you're gone. <laughs> There'll be stuff in your coffin because even Goodwill has better standards than that. But I love her and will forever be the servant to bring her young virgin sacrifices for giving me my start. You have her to thank for that. Yay. Don't back to that. <laughs> now to Philly's biggest talent. But to be honest, the fat I see is in her heart. Oh, it's nice. suffocating it. <laughs> Cleo is one of Philly's nicest performers. She's, ooh, she's always speaks as if she, if she sees you in the street, even if she doesn't remember your name. Sorry, I fumbled that one, right? <laughs> You told old, old heifers in the back, all right, y'all ain't laugh yet. <laughs> huh? Oh. I'm like English? No. Huh? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get you, bitch. <laughs> Cleo is so nice, she currently is giving rising new talent opportunities to do karaoke and get paid for it. Obviously, you haven't been to her show. Her show is called Gay Bill. <laughs> its whole premise is to get up in commerce to come screech, I mean sing, show tunes and whatnot for a few dollars, all so she can come in and sing the house down and show them how it's really done. Yeah. a girl. Yeah. Yeah. All I can say is keep those little tweaks Dream is that one day they'll actually get a lead on an off, 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 off Broadway play. Who said that? Who said that? And keep singing them out of the universe, babe. I told you I don't like doing this. <laughs> on to another talent that I had the dishonor of getting to know this last year. That bitch behind the DJ booth, DJ Stardust. Yes. We all want to know, how did you get the name? I guess DJ I Need a Cigarette Every Five Minutes doesn't have the same ring. Call me, bitch. <laughs> I've been observing DJ Stardust for a while now, and I want to know, do you own any other clothes? This man always looks as if he's in a circuit party in the 90s. <laughs> he wears more fishnet and mesh than I do. And the shorts are so small, I swear, he has a bigger tuck than I did before I got my hot pocket. <laughs> he even wears it year round. I thought... <laughs> But that's enough about that. Whore. On to an 
old, 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 old. Well, you get the idea. The geriatric Jim herself, Dominique Lee. She wanted me to come up here and make fun of all the 12 people who attend her shows. But I think it's wonderful that she finally has a fan base, all 12 of you. Thank you. <laughs> she wanted people to know that she's the Sally Fields of Philly drag scene. I'll give you some time to Google who the fuck Sally Fields is. Lesbians, a tranny is on the microphone, shut up. Thank you. <laughs> Dom has come under a lot of scrutiny these past weeks. For what, I don't know. But I have one question. Where was the fucking scrutiny when you decided to start drag? I mean, who told you it was okay to dress up in someone else's discarded clothes and perform around to obscure songs that no one knows? <laughs> I need to know this. If the Republicans are worried about this grooming their children, then I agree, ban it. Because no child should have to see someone wearing last year's Fashion Nova knockoffs and don't get me started on that dry ass hair. <laughs> Would it carry you not to wear hair that looks like it could double as a bomb shelter? I mean, come on, the beehive went out of fashion so long ago, it seems like you're still waiting for them to drop the atom bomb. But I love and appreciate you and our twisted friendship. Your drag is still terrible. Yes. <laughs> now, for the they, them, he, she of the night. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. I must say, you really are a sight to behold. Like the Titanic sight. But no one is paying 250 k to die to see you. Too soon? Well, that's their fault. They're the little dumbasses that paid that kind of money to go down here. Child, did you not see the end of the movie? They got what they deserved. Morgan has been sweeping the pageant scene lately. It's so nice to see you in jewelry you don't have to pay for. And good jewelry at that. And look, you didn't even have to pay for any of it. Too bad. Now I really love her looks. It reminds me that with a lot of imagination and hot glue, you really can achieve anything, even looking like that. called Morgan, Nurse Morgan Helps. It benefits at-risk and homeless LGBT and old men OP, QRS, TUV, WXYZ youth. Yeah, she didn't want to help that old senior citizen friend of her look better. That's you, Dominique Lane. dragging that poor, tired hag Nelly with her to boost her ego by simultaneously trying to raise money for you who are at the risk of knowing who she really is. <laughs> Don calls Morgan her beautiful better half. And she is, if you never had your eyes checked. <laughs> I guess what they say is true. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Too bad, too bad the beholder is blind. <laughs> Give it up for this old, weathered, 
he, she, they, them, Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. I love you and all you do for our community and our youth as I used to be one. And looking at this table of roasters, I'm still the youngest. <laughs> thank you, that's my time, and it's more than these old bitches have, so thank you. Yeah. I mean, give it up for Mia, she's fantastic. We absolutely love her. I tried. Mia, we're gonna move this table on over here. There